Good work, bro. That was insane. David Wallace has got in touch with us. He wants us to go down, meet him, and do a shoot with him. So we're currently we're driving down to his. We don't know where he's going to take us. Secret location. We don't know what we're going to shoot. We love what he does with his levitation shots, you know, his Urban X. We want to we want to shadow him, see how he does that. And, you know, he's invited us down, so hopefully we can do a bit, bit of those shots of our product. You know, do some model shots, see if we can get some of us flying around, some of the bags flying around. Just, just have a bit of fun on the day. You know, just capture his creative process and see what makes him tick. Hey, man. I think we're outside of yours. Hold up. How you doing, brother? Good to see you. Nice trick. I'm good. So I think maybe, I mean, you know the area better than we do, so mm. you probably have got a picture in your head of kind of the places to shoot already. Yeah, yeah, there's, like the, there's a few like key spots throughout the building. Yeah. We could wander around and have a look and be like, okay, like these are the ones that like I'm thinking. I exploration park. Oh, my brain today. So like the journey between like, starting photography and becoming like a professional photographer. I don't think there's any like clear cut, congratulations, you're a professional photographer. Like, it's more like stages in getting there. Like you have to act like a professional photographer before you are one. So as long as you have all of the means and requirements to, to do what you intend to do, then the work will, will happen, you know? <laughs> Look how sick that is. Windows and stuff just look dope. Look at that, that's so sick. We're here, consign shoot. We found this location in the middle of the building, decrepit and decaying. And we've just got this orange bag, so check it out. Four years, six months, and 14 days ago since I took my first picture. I used to be a skateboarder, so when I was 18, I moved to Barcelona. The weather was better over there, and I think the inspiration is better. When you're a skateboarder, you gotta like abandon buildings or factories, try and build like a ledge or a ramp or something in there. And it's kind of the same, whereas I'm doing exactly the same, but now I'm taking pictures instead of like building ramps or to go skateboarding in there. It's now to like capture stuff artistically. I'll have an idea or a concept, Three, two, and then one. we kind of just make it happen. Ow. One pop, look at that. If you think it, you can do it. Pretty much the process behind it. The levitation stuff came from urban exploration. The first occurrence of the levitation was in a, an abandoned mental asylum, um, just outside of Nottingham. And there was an old computer keyboard, and then I threw the letters, and then I happened to catch them perfectly in the air, and then it all just stemmed from there. Nailed it. The no Photoshop stems from 
More of like an illusion, kind of like a magician. I wanted to see what can be created within a camera without having photo manipulation on top. And I think if you can create it in camera without adding anything to it, then that's a skill to Your arm, right arm forward, left arm back. Yeah, exactly like that. Ow. Whoa. My dude, we nailed it. Come and have a look. Three, two, one. Every time. One pop, look at that. It's like a game for me. If I can create that picture without using Photoshop to just fabricate the image, then it feels like I've won that level. I think it's very much like a unique style of shooting. It's definitely like my type of style. With inspirations, it's more like movie directors and stuff like that. Christopher Nolan is a good one. The way he like directs and creates his films and he doesn't use a lot of CGI. In one of the dark nights, he flips an 18-wheeler in downtown Chicago, and he legitimately did that. It wasn't with CGI or anything like that. Influences like that have influenced my photography and the way I shoot. The main motivation behind photography and creating imagery is just having the concept. You think up the concept, and then you execute it. It doesn't matter what camera you have or whatever, as long as you've got a camera, an eyeball and an idea, then you can kind of create whatever you want to do. If you think it, you can do it. <laughs>